1978, a TV movie titled The Ruddles All You Need Is Cash aired, delivering a delightful blend of humor, shock, and poignancy. This comedic gem cleverly parodied the rise and fall of a fictional band, The Ruddles, echoing the real-life story of a certain famous Liverpool quartet. With its tongue-in-cheek approach and catchy tunes, the movie won hearts and tickled funny bones. As you delve into this video, brace yourself for a roller coaster ride of funny, shocking, and even poignant moments. You'll witness the band's journey through fame and folly, encountering a myriad of colorful characters and absurd situations along the way. Now, as you enjoy the antics unfold, ask yourself which character stole the show for you. Did you find yourself rooting for Dirk, Nasty, Stig, or Barry? And when did you first stumble upon this TV movie? Was it a chance encounter late one night? or a recommendation from a friend? We're eager to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences with the Ruddles. All you need is cash. Share your stories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts. Your next laugh or gasp could be just around the corner. I recently watched All You Need Is Cash, a funny movie from 1978 that pokes fun at the Beatles. It was made by Eric Idle from Monty Python and Neil Inness from the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. Even if you don't know much about the Beatles, you can still enjoy the story, which follows their journey. Eric Idle plays a reporter and a guy named Dirt in the band. There are also appearances by famous people like George Harrison, Paul Simon, and Mick Jagger. The comedy in the movie is still funny, although some jokes might feel old-fashioned. The music by Neil Innes sounds a lot like the Beatles' music, which adds to the fun. If you're a big Beatles fan, you'll catch all the references in the movie. But even if you're not, you can still have a good time watching it. All you need is cash is both making fun of and honoring the Beatles, and it does it well. It shows how creative the filmmakers were in making something enjoyable. The Ruddles All You Need Is Cash is a TV movie from 1978 that holds significance in the realms of comedy and music. Eric Idle, president of Prominent Features, played a pivotal role in its production. Notably, Idol has been associated with other notable productions like Splitting Airs, A Fish Called Wanda, Eric the Viking, American Friends, and The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. George Harrison, despite facing vocal challenges due to throat problems, embarked on a tour in 1974 after an eight-year hiatus. Unfortunately, the tour met with criticism, particularly aimed at the opening act Ravi Shankar and Friends and Harrison's voice, dubbed Dark Horse. This experience left Harrison disillusioned, leading him to never tour in America again, except for a lucrative visit to Japan in 1992 with Eric Clapton's backing band. Mick Jagger, known for his admiration of the Beach Boys, once expressed his admiration for their song, I Get Around on a British Television talk show in 1964. Jagger's affinity for the Beach Boys reflects his deep appreciation for their music. In summary, The Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash, born out of Eric Idle's production efforts, intersects with the experiences of George Harrison and the musical preferences of Mick Jagger, adding layers of significance to its narrative. In 1978, a TV movie titled The Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash featured connections to notable figures. John Belushi, a participant in the movie, owned a Martha's Vineyard home that once belonged to Robert McNamara, the former as Secretary of Defense. This property covered eight acres with 450 feet of beachfront. George Harrison, another key figure associated with the movie, bought and renovated Friar Park, a grand 120-room Victorian neo-Gothic mansion in Henley-on-Thames before the Beatles disbanded. Additionally, Eric Idle, involved in the production, directed Monty Python Live at the O2 in 2014. The Pythons performed to sold-out crowds of 16,000 for 10 nights with Idle writing and directing the show. These connections add depth to the history surrounding the creation of the TV movie, enriching its narrative and highlighting the diverse backgrounds of those involved. The Ruddles All You Need Is Cash is a 1978 TV movie that gained recognition for its notable cast members. John Belushi, known for his roles in National Lampoon's Animal House and the Blues Brothers, made an appearance. Belushi's contributions to these films earned them places in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Another prominent figure was Bill Murray, whose portrayal of Phil Connors in Groundhog Day is considered one of the greatest performances of all time by Premier Magazine. Paul Simon, also part of the Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash, had a significant moment in music history. In 1974, he attended a recording session with Art Garfunkel, John Lennon, and Harry Nilsson. 
During the session, tensions arose between Simon and Lennon over a cue in the song, leading to Simon walking out, followed by Garfunkel leaving the session unfinished. These cast members brought their own unique contributions to the Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash, adding to its cultural significance. The Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash is a TV movie from the late 70s that parodied the rise and fall of the Beatles. It featured several notable figures from the entertainment industry. Ed Sullivan, known for his role as a host, once filled in for Red Skelton on a CBS show in 1961. Instead of just hosting, Sullivan performed Skelton's comedy sketches, even taking on the character Freddy the Freeloader. Mick Jagger, founder and lead vocalist of the Rolling Stones, made an appearance in the Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash, adding to its star-studded cast. Another familiar face in the movie was Bill Murray, who co-owned a baseball team called the Salt Lake Trappers in the 80s and 90s. The team achieved a notable record of 29 consecutive wins in 1987, a feat that still stands in professional baseball. The inclusion of such renowned personalities added to the appeal of the Ruddles, All You Need Is Cash, making it a memorable and entertaining production. The Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash is a TV movie from 1978 that parodies the story of the Beatles. It features Bill Murray, one of the few American actors nominated for an Oscar for a film set in Japan. Murray joins Marlon Brando and Red Buttons in this distinction, earned for their roles in Sayonara in 1957. George Harrison, a key figure in the Beatles, had Paul McCartney appear in his music video When We Was Fab. Harrison wanted McCartney dressed as a walrus playing bass, a nod to the Beatles' lore. When McCartney couldn't make it, he advised Harrison to find a replacement, but confirmed his approval for the homage. Lorne Michaels, a prominent figure in comedy, was impersonated by Mike Myers in the Austin Powers movies and by Mark McKinney in Kids in the Hall Brain Candy. These impersonations highlight Michaels' influence on comedy culture. In 1996, Neil Innes, Ricky Fattar, and John Halsey made an album called Archaeology in response to the Beatles anthology. This album had songs not in the Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash, along with some of Innes' solo songs and a track making fun of Free as a Bird. Eric Idle wasn't part of it because they said his character, Dirk McQuickly, quit music for comedy. Some people say Mick Jagger's song Wild Horses was inspired by Marion Faithful's miscarriage. Others think Graham Parsons influenced it. In 1976, Penny Marshall said Gilda Radner was considered for Shirley Feeney in Laverne and Shirley, but Cindy Williams got the role. The Ruddles' All You Need Is Cash in 1978 poked fun at the music industry. Years later, Ines, Fatar, and Halsey showed they're still into music. Mick Jagger's songwriting, like in Wild Horses, adds more layers to his music. Gilda Radner almost being in Laverne and Shirley gives us a peek into the entertainment scene back then.